danger is Captain Midnight's meat. When Ivan Shark attempts to kidnap Joyce, Midnight interferes. But his efforts to capture the master criminal expose him to certain death in a bomb-laden airplane. Celebrate too soon. Look. Gosh, I thought the captain's chute would never open. I bet he thought so too. You gotta hand it to that guy. He can get out of anything. Uh, well, he's not out of this yet. We'll finish him when he lands. Hurry up. The men in that car are heading toward where he'll land. What'll we do? Just watch, like the captain ordered. He's going to land. Get over on that field fast. with that dude. They, they'd bump us off, too. We'd better stay up and follow that car, see where they take him. That's using your brain, son. That's what I meant. Well, we missed him again. Oh, well, they can't be far. I never took my eyes off this spot. How about dropping those guns? Now get in the car, all of you. You help that man up. They'll kill him. We'd better get down there and help him, Chuck. Shame on you, Hickey. There are only four of them. There aren't four men living that could beat Captain Midnight in a fight. Catch us short. Let me handle it. What's going on here? Plenty, officer. We caught this crook after a terrific battle. He stole our plane, wrecked it, and sent our pilot to his death. Great suffering wildcats. Who is he? You mean to say you don't know the infamous Captain Midnight, the Sky Bandit? Why, the police have been searching for him for months. Never heard of the guy, but we'll take him in. All right, boys, carry him to the car and take no chances with him. Come on, get him to the car. Thanks, officer. Let's scram while we got the chance. Okay, make it casual. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Well, uh, we're taking our wounded friend to a hospital. We'll report at headquarters later. Well, you go to headquarters first. That man's all right. He's walking, isn't he? Now, get in your car and we'll follow you. Well, certainly, officer. Anything you say. And don't go too fast. All right, keep him in sight. There's something funny down there. The police are following those birds, but why didn't they arrest them? They've loaded the captain into the police car, and he looks badly hurt. Oh, forget it, Inky. I'll bet it's part of the captain's plan. Why don't you 
don't you step on it and make a getaway. If midnight comes to, we're in a jam. Shut up. Get headquarters. The chief will get us out of it. Number seven calling S1. So you're coming too, are you, mystery man? Now I guess you can tell us what this thing is all about. I could, but I don't intend to talk until we reach headquarters. But if you value your job, don't lose sight of that car in front. I know my job. Come in, S1. S1 answering number seven. Come in, number seven. We're in a jam, Chief. We brought Captain Midnight out of the air all right. But before we could finish him off, a car load of cops butted in. And they're herding us ahead of him to headquarters for an explanation. What'll we do? Come in, S1. You got into this mess, I should let you get out of it. But I won't. You might wait and say too much. Give me your location. I'll get you out of it. We're on a road close to Field 13, headed toward Highway 107. We loaf along as much as we can. Come in, S1. All right, I'll attend to it. Spotter, you and Slim get out there. Get them out of that fix they're in. Use Plan 14 and report back to me here. It's as good as done, boss. Bang, you come with me. I'll need your help. Curry, take over. What are you stopping for? I don't know which way to go. Straight ahead, of course. We're going to headquarters. Straight ahead it is. The boss didn't lose any time sending help. That spotter and slimmer swell guys. We're a cinch now. Well, don't crow too soon. We're not out of the chip. Don't even know what they planned. Well, the hood was up, wasn't it? That means plan 14. Now keep your eyes open. Be ready to act. If it's any news, officer, we're being followed. Well, we don't own the highway. How do you know we're being followed? I recognize the occupants and they're tough birds. You've got a car crooks behind you and one ahead of you. They have some plan. All right, all right. We'll take care of that. They're on to us. You better get busy before we get closer to town. But don't try to hit them. Now maybe you'll believe me. You better stop them. Throw some red on them, boys. Step on it, you fool. Now they know we're worth taking. Turn off at the first side road. We got away all right. They're after me. I'll get out before one of you are killed. Now's your chance to stop them. I'll stop them or else. That does it. They're through. Now we can beat it back to headquarters. Yeah, with a good report for once. Boys, that was close. It was a trick to get Captain Midnight away from us. I gotta get that radio working. Boy, what a break. There's Captain Midnight and he's hurt. We'll pick him up. Yeah, we'll give the captain a lift. He doesn't have a gun, that's certain. Well, you haven't got a chance, Midnight. <laughs> What are they doing now? They're picking him up and carrying him to their car. What now? Well, uh, we'll follow them wherever they go. If our gas holds out. Borgman, where are we taking this bird? We're taking him to number three because that's the nearest. Hey, that plane that was over the field is following us. And that crate don't fly itself. We'll radio the boss. He'll have one of the fighters bring it down. Number seven calling S1. You were wise to agree to work on your invention. You'll find it to your advantage. I'm only doing it because I have to. I just heard from the boys. Martell reports a suspicious plane. I ordered a fighter to take care of it. Good. Did Martell recapture the mass flyer? Yes, sir. They're taking number three, the factory. Very good. We'll go there at once. I must learn the identity of this mysterious flyer. Yes, sir. The car's waiting. Well done, Slick. Edwards, I shall expect the model of your rangefinder to be completed when I return. Then you better give me some help. 
I'll give you all the help you can use. Only keep working. Lock the door. in there. If he escapes, I'll hold you responsible. Don't worry, he won't get away. about this. Well, hey, those bullets are meant for us. You ain't fooling. That plane must belong to that gang. Well, what do we do? Well, there's not much we can do. Well, do something. Try zigzagging. Yeah. Zigzagging? In a plane? I'll take it easy, son. That's one of my inventions, put aboard for just that purpose. I wish you'd let me in on things. Keep flying. No one's are over. We gotta keep fooling them. Well, that settles the plane. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Now we can head to the hideout. Step on it, Portman. That was great, Chuck. One of the best landings you ever made. <laughs> a dead stick, too. I'll take off. Now we can follow that car again. Yeah, we can't go anywhere. We're out of gas. Take him out and get that wound dressed. Now we just wait until the chief gets here. Yeah, what did we get here for? Because everything is fixed here. I know the chief wants to finish him off himself. Now you watch him while I phone and see if he's left. Tell you everything. We're working for... You got it. No thanks to you. Get down and 
finish him. or a help to Joyce's plans. And how does Ivan Shark fit into the picture? Perhaps that ambulance will be his undoing. Perhaps Ivan Shark's days are numbered. See what happens in Ambushed Ambulance, next week's thrill-laden chapter of Captain Midnight. <laughs>